All right, you're welcome. If you've just joined us, it is the Mindset Edition of The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's time for Off the Press. And we have a Monday analyst, Opunabo Unkotaria, political affairs analyst, joining us from River State. Good morning to you, Opunabo. Good morning. And good morning, Nigerians. Okay, let's start with the Punch newspaper. The Punch newspaper is leading this morning with CBN investigator probes banks over 1.27 trillion naira intervention funds. And the writers there, 1.27 trillion naira anchor borrowers loans. Others undisbursed five in five banks. Then you have special investigator to summon bank CEOs over intervention funds. Open up all. Let's start with this. Okay, uh, first, uh, most of us are quite aware that these so called loans and so on are like conduit pipes. You ask a question, monies are your marked for loans. What are they still doing in the banks? Most of the managers uh, use that to enrich themselves. Mm -hmm. Instead of giving out these loans, although most of the loans uh, that are given out are not uh, paid back. We agree. But rather than give out these loans, what most of them do, they use the loans as uh, an avenue for them to make more money, to enrich themselves. They give to top businessmen, family members, and so on. So, there is nothing wrong with COVID, but I have a problem. You know, in the administration of justice, you don't cherry pick. Mm -hmm. The tempest of justice must not be allowed to blow faithfully. That's the truth. In Nigeria, we cherry pick in the administration of justice. Most of this, the problem with the bank is a no fail. In as much as his style of management was highly questionable, which justifies uh, his proof. But then, we all know the real reason behind his prosecution. But the bank should also prove how the um, what are they, what is it called again? Billion grants move from the banks, carrying billions of naira to somebody's restaurant. Mm. That should also be proved. Is it legal? How was it done? In some sort of somebody's house, you have cars back that are not used, and in them you have millions of naira. The bank should also prove. Because everybody has uh, limits. There are limits to which you can have at any particular point in time. And even if you have these monies, the banks will also, the uh, government should also prove how you got it. So that's why I say the administration of justice is don't charity. I am not saying loans, money mentions, will serve as loans should not be, that we are not giving out is justifiable. No, that's not what I'm saying. But you don't. Um, Cherry pick in the administration of justice. You don't just punish Mr. A and leave Mr. B for doing the same thing. That in itself is injustice. Mm -hmm. Indeed. And so the anchor borrowers' loans have been a major of concern. The new Minister for Humanitarian Affairs, you know, suspending it and it's uh, also calling for investigation. The, the, the new Minister for Humanitarian Affairs, is that not the minister I messed in the NYC controversy? Am I right? No, she's not the one. Uh, that was the former... Uh, she's not the one. No, it's the former um, woman leader of APC who was uh, also the Commissioner for Health in Cross River State that is now the Minister for Humanitarian Affairs. That the is Beta Edu. Beta Edu. Edu. Yes, she has suspended oh, the see, NPAR program. Yes, the NPAR program of, uh, she suspended. Some of the things that... Some irregularities. Yes. Mm. Uh, you know, some people were collecting money and were not going to the site. And, and some whose name should have been struck on the list. Most of the, the beneficiaries refuse to pay back their loans, and it's difficult to pay back when the money is not judiciously used. And maybe given at, very a, at the wrong time. The whole essence is to the whole essence is to invest in a particular project, and from the returns you're able to pay back and also sustain yourself. That's the whole essence of the loan. Just all right, so let, let's look at some other stories, the headlines here. Is it Nigerian, 
it is a Nigerian system. You know, it's like I know the president, so I have definitely to go back. I know the minister, I have definitely to go back. Mm. Forgetting that these other persons are going to be in office for a particular period, the next person might be different. The next person might be different. Most of them forget this fact. They just think of today, and the annoying thing is that most of them go to buy expensive SUVs and so on. And the other times you need to wonder. Somebody that could barely feed yesterday is today driving an SUV of 50, 60, 80 million mm. living large. It is a loan that you have just collected that was meant for something that was not being used for that. That's it. So I don't have a problem with the poor. But in probing, let us not cherry pick. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Okay, so the other headlines on the punch newspaper. You have someone who orders demolition of markets built on drainage. That's the picture you have right there spread out on the punch newspaper. And under that you have FG to grill and power consultants plans five million jobs. That's the one I was just uh, mentioning a while ago as we were discussing the, uh, the, the loans with the anchor borrowers uh, program. And so you have road crashes that dropped by 1,118, says FRFC. And then above the masthead, you have governors, labor, begin talks over 35,000 Naira wage award. 1,000 killed as Israeli Hamas conflict rages, U.S. deploys minion, you know, munitions. And then Jaguar. Let's take them one by one, sorry. Yeah, I, I, I just. Okay, fine. Let's let's. I talked. I talked. I talked to you in pains, but it's okay. Let's take them one by one. Sorry. Okay, sorry, sorry about your pains this morning. Um, so you want to speak on and the Israeli Hamas conflict? I listened to your conversation this morning, yeah. and I'm touched that he's so emotional. He's wondering why we have wars in this country, and you responded by saying that's an utopian thought. It's actually a fleeting illusion to think that we're not going to have wars in the world. Mm. Yeah, because um, even the Bible said, by the sword shall you conquer. Ishmael. The Bible said so. Mm -hmm. So, and the wars are not just new. They've been there from the one. There is a, there was a conflict between Adam and Eve, Cain and Abel, Lucifer and God. It's, it's, I mean, we should respect this thing. There's a disagreement in your family. But in this case, we are talking of war and loss of life. Mm -hmm. There is this issue of the drum major instinct. I am superior to you. If you don't capitulate to me, I shall deal with you. It's, it's another form of war. So we cannot write off war anywhere in the world if things are not done the right way. What is the drum major instinct? Simple. You have the, you have the negative, you have the positive aspect. The positive aspect is I have to be recognized, I have to read my books, I have my PhD to be recognized in the society. I have to be a government to be recognized. The negative aspect is, why must it be you? Why not me? I have to destroy you. Mm. So we cannot run away from these things. That's the truth about it. Now, what are the genesis of the war? Of course, you know that Israel, you can remember, remember they entered the rage just for one person, just for the Israelites. Remember the entire 90 minutes in the mm -hmm. They don't joke with their citizens, not like Nigeria. Mm -hmm. America, the same thing. Britain, the same thing. When we had the crisis here, the militancy, I just opposite my office, we saw some persons who moved in, took a baby, about two kids out, and the mother was crying. When we investigated, we realized that those two kids were British citizens. And Britain moved in to save their citizens. Mm -hmm. They didn't bother about their mother. They didn't bother about the mother. That, you are, they are talking about serious countries. We are the one joke. The life of one person is very important. Indeed. Now we we'll go back to the Israeli Palestinian war. We we'll all know the genesis. It's biblical. I don't want to be sentimental about it. It's biblical. We all know the genesis of the war. The Israelis will never, never leave anything to chance when it comes to protection of their country and protection of their citizens. Mm -hmm. If the world likes, if Russia likes, if China, if the whole world can come against Israel. But they, they will not back. They will never mm -hmm. back down for whatever reason. They have a conviction. 
and they also believe that it is their duty, it's incumbent, every Israeli prime minister and every Israeli, every, including the little kid in Israel, who is trained to believe that if he dies for his people or his country, he will be going to heaven. So these things will go on. And the Palestinians are as obligate as they can. You don't also blame them. They are more like Ishmaelites. You shall conquer by the sword. So this war, and it's like the war between the Christians and the Muslims, it will not end, no matter the conversation you have. One is true, you are the child of God. Everything belongs to you. The same God is saying, because the Israelites are my people up to the end of the world. The same God is saying, you Muslims, go and conquer by the sword. And if we are all Christians and Muslims and so, how do you think we are going to resolve this issue? Unless God himself retracts. That's the truth about it. Hmm. So nothing, nothing. We can't bring this thing to an end. It's going to be a fleeting illusion. If you think as humans we are going to solve it, God has to retract it. That's the only way we can resolve most of these matters. Indeed. Yeah, if you wish to talk world war, so be. If you wish to talk world war, after Mr. Damus mentioned it, said there is a likelihood of a third world war. Hmm. But it can be. We can't stave it off if we want to stave it off. But there is a strong likelihood of a third. And all American presidents don't do with us. The man who sort of not. Mm -hmm. And the they also might come to pass. Mm -hmm. They might not come to pass. But you find out that everything is gearing towards that. Because almost everything he has said came to pass. So there is nothing we can do about these wars. Yeah, well. If we are fought, if we are if we are victims, so be it. If we are not, we give God the glory. If we are not in our time, what of the time of our great grandchildren? Mm. It's a matter of time. It's a matter of time. Like someone said, um, people are now trying to evangelize God. <laughs> so even if God comes down to say, <laughs> "Stop this thing," there's a likelihood that there are a lot of people who will not even believe He's God because he's saying this. God cannot say this, and they'll go ahead and do what they want to do. So, well... No, the thing with God this, is, when he wants well, anything done, in the day is, of his the power, fact, the, his people the will the be willing. Is, the fact is... The when fact he's is ready this, to stop you know, anything, you, nobody can challenge speak, him. It happens in the days of... Well, you, speak, you, you speak from a point of strength. Mm. They the also have their taste. They don't believe in God. Mm -hmm. As far as they are concerned, these things are man-made. Mm -hmm. I'm not an atheist. You see, I, I, am a, I am a Christian, although I'm not uh, fund, a fundamentalist. I don't believe in, 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 in all the pastors we have in Nigeria raising the dead. And most of them are just businessmen. What I believe in, the word of God as seen in the Bible. In the Bible. Not what a man comes with. Not what a man comes to tell me. Even though the Bible itself is not a complete version of it. But at least the issue of the Israelites, the issue of Cain and Abel, the issue of... Uh, Abra uh, was it Abraham? I think it was Abraham. Israel and uh, Ishmael. Yeah. Abraham. The issue of Israel. At least they all said the same thing. There are no dissenting voices mm -hmm. in the Bible. Mm -hmm. mm. There are no dissenting voices. So, as a Christian, I believe that that is the genesis. There are things who give you another version. The Hebrews will give you another version, but they still believe that that doesn't happen. The only version that is different is that Christ is not the Son of God, but still waiting for the Messiah. Yeah, okay. the Hebrew Bible. Yeah, let's move to yeah. so let's move to yeah, other things yeah. so that we can we can finish. Um, the Guardian newspaper is where I'm going to right now, and the leading headline is "War in Middle East," which we are just talking about, mm -hmm. may spiral push monthly petrol subsidy to 644.8 billion naira. Hmm. And uh, even though there are so many other headlines that we want to talk about, but like you said, let's take them one after the other. Uh, we're afraid that the war in the Middle East will push the monthly petrol subsidy, which has been removed, I may add, uh, to 644.8 <laughs> billion. <laughs> yes, it's, it and has been removed, returned. but the war can push and it. And silently. So, mm. I don't know. Please, your comment. Uh, I, 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 if, I, if, I, if I got to write it, because it's, it's breaking, uh, even the war in the Middle East might push the fuel 
price to 600 for the 4.8 billion. Is that what you say? Yeah, the subsidy, the subsidy Monthly. on fuel might yeah. rise to 600. How does, it, how, does, how does it even affect uh, Nigeria? Okay, okay, we are part of the world. Because with or without the war, ours would definitely get worse by the day. So we should, you know, why they are telling you all these things? <laughs> we are smart. They want to let you understand that the first subsidy, Palava, is not just a Nigerian thing. It's a world thing. And at the rate with which uh, the, the war with the Middle East, that this is go, definitely going to be the cost. So don't blame Timidu for the square subsidy. But the square subsidy question. is supposedly no. removed. We are not even supposed to be talking that's about it. That's what I'm telling you, that there's the, the only thing is don't blame this man for the removal of the square subsidy. It's a global thing mm -hmm. because of the war in the Middle East. Don't forget that when we had issues and the Gulf. They also said, oh, it's going to affect before the time what has happened to our subsidy. Mm. What is happening to the subsidy right now? That there are crises, there are global crises, we really worsen it. But we don't without the global crisis, we are worse hit. What they are trying to do is to absorb the presidency from the square subsidy palaver. To say, no, it's a general thing. Hmm. That when we talked of flood, they said, oh, it's a global thing. Even in America, you have flood in this state, in that state. They had flood, but they addressed it. It was mitigated. If that flood should happen, 10% of it in America to happen in Nigeria, the country will be submerged. The point I'm trying to make is, they come up with all these excuses to absorb the federal government from its ineptitude. We agree. When there are global crises, there are global crises. It affects every country. And there is no party you can do about it. If that is going to be the cost of fuel, if it's going to affect the price of fuel worldwide, let it affect the price of fuel. Let everybody be affected generally and equally. If, for example, one price of petrol without the war would have been 10 naira. And as a result of the war, it's now for 39. No problem. Everybody will understand that. Like but but they're, not even talking, they're not even and talking they're about the do. price of fuel. They're not talking about the price of fuel. They're talking about subsidy. the subsidy that they told us that they removed, which means that this is acceptance because Pengerson and other bodies, relevant bodies, have said that the fuel subsidy, which we were told was removed, was not removed. There's still fuel subsidy being paid. And this seems like a confirmation that it is really being paid, but now it can even go higher to 644 billion monthly. The point I'm making is this. Monthly. The point I'm making is this. Look, understand my argument. Yeah. They came up with this because they are trying to tie it. They are trying to justify. Yeah. With what Pengas is I'm talking about the federal government. Mm. They are trying to justify the cost of fuel right now and tell you that it might even get worse as a result of middle less is war. Mm. But what I'm trying to tell you is that you cannot justify it. When you talk of fuel subsidy, it's a big grammar. Let us look at semantics. You are talking of cost of petrol. That's what you're actually referring to. Whether it is removed or not removed. What a man, when a man drives into a city, is how much per liter of petrol. Mm. That's what you mean by the subsidy. But that is, is the federal government subsidizing or not. So it boils down to this like somebody coming down there to say the GDP. What do you mean by GDP? The man in the market understands the cost of a cup of garlic. He's not interested in the grammar. Mm. So it boils down to how much per litre of petrol. That is the argument here. Now what the federal government is trying to do, or what they are letting us know is that it might even get worse as a result of the crisis in the Middle East. No doubt about that. And what I'm saying is, fine. Let us all be affected simultaneously. Nigerians will not complain if the price of petrol is 100 naira as a result of the crisis in the Middle East. But the question is, without, before the crisis, what was the cost? Exactly. And during the crisis, are we supposed to buy at 100 naira per liter, for example? The crisis ordinary would have made up, we probably would have purchased at 80 naira per liter or 70 naira per liter. But now we're buying at 100 naira because we are talking of the crisis 
the global crisis, and the ineptitude of a government. So you cannot justify it whatsoever. And think that is saying there is well something that is not removed and not all those things. That is not even the argument we are talking about. Okay. Um, I also don't even want to bother about I don't want to bother about labor and all those stuff, please. I know I told you on air the last time that they will never go on strike. Yeah. Yeah. I told you for that. So yes. I do I don't even want to bother about all those arguments. Okay, so we we'll just as far as I'm concerned, they are doing that in the interest of a microcopy, including the labor leaders. Mm. Because you can't talk of negotiating with the federal government. The negotiations will only impact positively on those in Abuja, the federal government workers. What of the states? So I don't want to go into NLC and all those stuff. Because I'll be giving NLC and uh, uh, TUC some credit. I'm not going to. I'm bothered about Nigerians. So the issue of the crisis, what they are trying to tell you is that, oh, look, two things. One, it, as a result of the crisis, you're not going to buy petrol at the rate at which you're buying genuinely at the global market genuinely because it's going to affect it that is number one but that does not mean okay let's just say for example i've said it before bread for the crisis you have bought at 200 naira. now you're going to buy 400 naira. but before the crisis already we are buying at 500 naira. so what happens so are you going to say if it's as a result of the crisis as a result of the crisis, we ought to be buying at 300 naira or 400 naira. Now, as a result of the crisis, while others are buying at 500 naira per liter, we'll be buying at 900 naira. Now, let's let's look at uh, some other. Let, How do you justify that? Let's look at some other headlines um, quickly now. Maybe take your pick. Uh, Atiku Kayamo. Uh, let me tie these two together. Atiku Kayamo trade words over Tinubu's Chicago uh, certificate, and then 107 ex-senators urge caution on Tinubu's certificate saga. That's one. Uh, yeah. the, the, okay, yes. if you want to respond to that, uh, I don't know. Yeah, let me respond. I, I just hope that this will not write to me. You know, they've written to arise. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you don't know, they'll write to you. I've told you. Let me forewarn you. Because I cannot understand Fesus Kiamu. Is a man of double speech, an embodiment of contradiction. First, was one of those who first after Ghana family who first pursued this issue. And even when he was asked on the sister station, a senior advocate of Nigeria, if you want to absorb the book from even the crime, because after the court, after when the court ruled and they uh, took some money from the account which is this self is a penalty and a confirmation. We are talking of the drug deal. First of all, it wasn't a penalty. In fact, he had that argument with uh, Shun. It wasn't there. Shun asked him, if it wasn't a penalty, what was it? He was rambling in his speech. That's a senior advocate of Nigeria. Now you have such persons misleading the country. When you talk of Tinubu, first and foremost, you ask, he has a right to say, I want to change my name. No doubt. You don't even need to give reasons for changing your name. Save your friends. Maybe you tell them this is a reason. But at least you ask yourself a simple question. Why is it that it is when it was when he was about to leave for Chicago that the, the name was changed? What of the security number? Why do you have the school consensus? The question is not if a brother and a Tinubu attended Chicago. In Canada Island, you, you have what you can say, for example, you have Tamno Tanya Bricks. You don't have one person answering Tamno Tanya Bricks. Not one person. You have thousands answering Tamno Tanya Bricks. In, am I the Tamno Tanya Bricks in question? That's the question you should ask. Because the Chicago, the man, the person who went who attended Chicago was a female. Why do you have security numbers different? How come the Tinubu attended a primary school that was not in existence? How come he graduated from a secondary school that was established four years after? How come the NYC is talking of a Dekunbu? Dollar at the Kunle Tinibu. How come you have just one man that this that matter went viral to say 
that he attended after how many years, because it started 23 years ago, to say that I attended school, just one man, it went by. Just one man. Even as I am on this program, thousands and millions will say they attended school. I have not seen Oprah for quite some time. Oh, I saw him on this TV. Oh, I saw him. Yes. How come only one man? If that will tell you that he was a tainted witness, it was all a perspective. Just like the Guadalupe, Sadiqui. We have pictures on Sadiqui nowadays. So my children, my time, no. I finished secondary school in 86. There was no certificate. Even when you finish university, no certificate. We are all in Cambridge. Somebody from Wayek came all the way. And the Sadiqui had pictures. I mean, it's questionable. You see, there are so many que unanswered questions. Tell me, okay, tell me your father. Mention. Look, there is no, most times when you say your father, certain persons get angry. Those persons that get angry are ashamed of their pedigree. How many presidents, whenever they are talking, they tell you, like the period of the, my mother used to tell me this. It doesn't mean your mother or your father was a witch. They could be carpenters. It doesn't matter. But they told you certain things that shaped your life. And you made reference to them. My father used to tell me, don't take goods from friends. Don't borrow money from friends. But once you say that in Nigeria, every time you see your father, they are angry. Am I, is it my fault that you, you are ashamed of offending me? Tell me the name of your father. Tell me the name of your brothers. Your schoolmates. Why is that a problem? Why the controversy? But when it came to Evans and Evan, he was removed. Mm. I'll tell you the story. My elder brother of Blessed Memory Architect, he died last year in November at 58. When your parents are registering you, you know, they fill all your names, all the names they gave to you. Mm. When you are age, at times you are about like some you see of Babo Christian Kotara, some you just see Christian Kotara. I preferred Christian growing up to open a book. But most of my Sabbath is Christian Nicotin. When he was about to graduate, mm -hmm. the senior said, no, you cannot graduate. On your uh, form, what you wrote was, oh, so what? In Kotari. But your Sabbath, we saw, oh, so what? Ivan, in Kotari. When it means left for him, he stayed back. They were arguing it. Luckily, the, the, the VC there knew the family so well. So, it's also, I know I knew this boy as a kid. It is his name. The VC had to defend it. They deposed to an affidavit. Nobody came up to say he is not Osoba Ivan Nikotai. Nobody came up to say he is not Ivan Nikotai. Nobody said that. Because they all knew that it is one and the same person, Osoba Ivan Nikotai, one and the same person. But the senior said, no, you have to clear it. What happened to Salih Subwa? So why is it that in your own case, up to now, even after the court ruled in America, you still have controversy? The security numbers are different. Which means that Bola Timibu is different from the security that uh, your own Bola Timibu, or that you have had the same security number. How come you attended a school that you were not in existence? You, in that school, you graduated in 1970, before it was established in 1970. For high school, the same thing. Okay, for our... Nobody is your classmate. Okay. Oh, for our... Our... And people will come on air to talk all kinds of rubbish because of money for Luca, love of Luca. Like, I want an appointment, so I will get them in that person. Most times, it doesn't even go there. Let's... Luca Siscamo is a discredited fellow. Let's, let's move to the oh, nation. Let's move to the nation and... Hello? and uh, yeah. Rush it so that yeah, we can, we yes. can let's, yes. let's move to the nation newspaper. The nation leads with federal government targets... Five million jobs in five years for youth. Beta Edu uh, scheme will be efficient. Ajakuta still to employ 500,000 Shatima. Firm 98% ready. <laughs> Ajakuta okay. still 98% okay. ready. Okay, okay. That's more than 40 years. 80%? 98? 98% ready. Ajakuta still. ready. All right. Ajakuta still has always been 98% ready. <laughs> Over 40 years. But never functional. But never functional. It has always been, but never functional. You see, let's go to the 5,000. The first scam himself 
why did he have problems with the Senate? If you remember. 744,000 jobs. jobs. Yeah. Mm. Still on the issue of jobs? Yes, yes. What are the jobs? What are the jobs? Were they provided? No. Rather, he covered up by saying his name, Andrew, you can't tell what. Open up. No. Yeah. So, yes. Oh, yeah. 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 We lost the audio. No, we lost audio for a moment. And it froze. Okay, that, okay now. Is that yeah, right? it's okay, it's okay now, yes. Okay. Go ahead. I said, what are the jobs? Census climate provided. Who was what to pretend it? Yeah, it was meant to provide. Did he provide? Was that not his, his problem with the Senate? And you, to, and you know what the Nigerian government, you know what they do? I think they are planning, but it is not a fact. They say 5 billion jobs. So, should they will survive the crisis, the global crime battle? You know what going to tell you? Few months to the election, they are going to tell you they promised you 5 million jobs. You are going to use that as a bit to get votes. Between now and that time, nothing will be done. Then, then they will now start giving all kinds of phony judges, there will be jobs. Like what happened in the last year? How many people were employed in the last election? The present government has sacked all of them. Hmm. He said the, the appointment we have been done uh, uh, rightly. They, they sacked all in, uh, general university. He sacked all of them. Wow. So what will happen to the future and so on? I'm talking of university now. The president of the sector. And those are the people that are employed in the This is we are all aware that when when it comes to election, you have 21 billion special advisors and assistants. Mm. You're all aware. Yes. Then most of them are not paid. And once after the election, that is the end of them. Hmm. I mean, how long are you going to deceive people? It's a shame. Five million jobs because you have prices. You know, who is going when, to when, when, when we jobs? talk about... Who is going to provide the five million jobs? Mm. Where are the industries? We are not even talking of the uh, of government. You, you shouldn't be uh, uh, as assistants, advisors, ministers, uh, and just, no. What we want is provide the negative environment. So we have the, what we call public-private partnership. In those days, we had Shell, Total, and so on, all over. Most people don't even know who their governors were. Why? They were doing fully employed in Russia, Egypt, Total, and so on. And the economy was booming. Now everybody is looking at government job. How much is it in the salary? And the government cannot employ. Okay. Provide that environment. If you provide the environment, mean uh, companies will spring up and people will be gainfully employed. Not you come to tell me five billion jobs that we've had all this how many years ago, even under the Philippine government, we had them. The money they ask him, they are asking him to account for. Is it as it not uh, as it not mess us with uh, provision of jobs? Well, we we have to we have to draw the curtain here. I I just I just wish we had more time. Anytime we're discussing newspaper headlines, it's always as if uh, we should have more time to talk about them because every topic is a topic we can carry for one hour. Yes. Uh, but unfortunately, you're we're, right. You're right. We're pressed for right. time. All right. But this is how we are going to draw the curtain on this segment today. We'd like to thank you for your time. It's always a pleasure having you join us on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll take a short break now. When we return, uh, we will go to our first hot topic. Stay with us.